Hello everybody, welcome back to We Love Wisdom. Uh, so far I've been your host, Zero Yeti. Let's go right into it, because this week we're doing New Zealand and the very rad animals that inhabit the islands. Uh, first animal of the week is the little spotted kiwi, also known as the little gray kiwi. is a small flightless bird in the kiwi family, Aptonopterygidae, and is endemic to New Zealand. Uh, during pre-European times, it occurred on both main islands, but it's now restricted to a number of small offshore islands and mainland reserves protected by pest exclusion fencing. Measuring around 14 to 18 inches in length and just one and a half to three pounds in weight, it is not only the smallest species of kiwi, but also the smallest member of the ratai family. Their feathers are pale molted gray and fine white, uh, when they're also shaggy looking and their legs are pale white. They also have a long bill that is a bright ivory color. Uh, these kiwis can occasionally be found throughout grassland and scrubland, but prefer to inhabit flax, sorrel, and older forest habitats. Uh, it is a nocturnal species that lives in pairs, spending the day in underground burrows, which they excavate using their powerful hind talons, and they emerge at night to feed upon berries, worms, and insects. Little spotted kiwis hold the record for the largest egg in comparison to adult body size of any vertebrate, with each egg measuring up some 26% of the mother's weight. Mating and nesting typically occurs between July and January, with females laying uh, up to two of these titanic eggs inside a foliage-lined burrow. The eggs are then incubated by the father for around 63 to 76 days until hatching, and the chicks stay with their parents for around 20 to 60 days. Males grow faster than females, reaching sexual maturity around 18 months compared to females at 36, and under ideal conditions, little spotted kiwi may live upwards of 45 years. Next up is the tuatara, which is a species of reptile endemic to New Zealand and its surrounding islands, belonging to the genus Sphenodon. Their name derives from the Maori language and means peaks on the back, referencing their unique spiny vertebral crests. Although resembling most lizards, they are part of a unique lineage of reptiles, the order Rhinocephalia, uh, which originated in the Triassic period some 250 million years ago and they flourished throughout the Mesozoic until being nearly completely wiped out by the KPG mass extinction event some 66 million years ago. The two Atara are typically a mix of green, brown, and gray in color, measure upwards of 31 inches in length, and upwards of 3 pounds in weight. They sport a spiny white crest along the back, two rows of teeth in the upper jaw, which overlap one row of teeth on the lower jaw, and they are able to heal, hear remarkably well despite lacking an external ear. They are also unusual in having a pronounced photoreceptive third eye, which is thought to be involved in sensing circadian and seasonal cycles. Tuatars thrive in temperatures much lower than those taller of most reptiles, and they hibernate during winter. Their diet consists of insects, arachnids, crustaceans, other arthropods, frogs, lizards, and bird eggs. While juveniles are diurnal, adults are typically nocturnal or crepuscular depending on the season, spending the day inside of shallow burrows which they may share with seabirds such as petrels, prions, and shearwaters. Tuatara probably have the slowest growth rates of any reptile, taking 10 to 20 years to reach sexual maturity and upwards of 35 years to reach full size. Mating occurs during the midsummer, uh, typically once every four years. Mothers lay two to sixteen, no, yeah, two to sixteen or even twenty white soft shell eggs in nesting burrows, which are then covered and incubated for some twelve to fifteen months for hatching. Barring tortoises, tuatars have the longest lifespan of any reptile, with individuals regularly living past one hundred years. Next up is the Kea, or the Kia, which is a species of large parrot in the family Nestoridae. Adult Kia stand around 20 inches tall, weigh around 2 pounds in weight, and sport an up to 20 inch wingspan, with males averaging just five, around 5% 5 larger than females. It is mostly olive green with plumage with a gray beak, having a long, narrow, curved upper beak. The adult has dark brown irises, and the sear earrings and legs are gray. It has orange feathers on the underside of its wings. The feathers on the side of its face are dark olive brown. The feathers on its back and rump are an orange red, with some outer ring wings being a dull blue. It has a short, broad, bluish green tail and a black tip. Kia are the world's only alpine parrot species and can be found throughout the mountainous regions of both the main island and the 
uh, of both main islands until the arrival of humans some 750 years ago. Today, the Kia ranges in lowland river valleys and coastal forests in, southern, in the South Island's west coast up to the alpine regions of Arthur's Pass and the Aurica or Mount Cook National Park. It is closely associated throughout its range with the southern beech forest of the Alpine Ridge. An omnivore, the kia feeds on more than 40 different plant species, various insects with particular uh, interest in beetles, eggs, other birds, and introduced mammals such as rabbits, foxes, and sheep. They are remarkably intelligent birds and frequently utilize tools such as bones, sticks, and rocks to aid in gathering, nesting, feeding, and preening. Kias are social polygamous species with, that live in groups of up to 13 birds. Breeding typically occurs between July and January at heights of upwards of 5,000 feet. Nest sites are usually positioned on the ground beneath large beech trees and rock crevices or in dugout burrows between roots. Uh, they are accessed by tunnels leading back 3 to 19 feet to a large chamber, which is then furnished with lichens, mosses, ferns, and rotting of wood. Here, two to five white eggs are laid, with an incubation time around 21 days and a brooding period around 94 days. Under ideal conditions, a kia may live upwards of 50 years. Next up is the New Zealand longfin eel, which is a species of freshwater eel endemic to New Zealand. Reaching upwards of five feet in length, 50 pounds in weight, they are the largest freshwater fish native to the islands and are widely distributed throughout the country's lakes and rivers, being found up to 225 miles inland. They are remarkably strong swimmers and climb, skilled climbers, able to traverse both rapids and waterfalls with relative ease. However, they're, where in a waterway a long fin eel lives, depending on what stage of their life they are. As juveniles, they prefer shallow, fast-flowing water with a coarse substrate, and as adults, long fin eels tend to be found in deeper, slow-moving pools next to or under large pieces of debris, like, such as fallen logs, or sometimes in holes in the riverbank. They are an omnivorous and opportunistic feeder, known to eat insects, crustaceans, a variety of water plants, amphibians, other fish, and even small waterfowl. The easiest way to identify long finned eels is by the length of its fins. The dorsal, which is the top fin, is about two-thirds the length of the body and starts significantly further towards the head than the anal, which is the bottom fin. The female long fin eels are larger and longer lived than males, averaging 45 inches in length compared to the males at 25 inches. The New Zealand long fins breed only once at the end of their lives, making the journey of thousands of kilometers from New Zealand to their spawning grounds near Tonga. After mating, the mature eels then die and their eggs float to the surface uh, to hatch into very flat leaf-like larvae that then drift along the ocean currents back to New Zealand. This drifting is thought to take up to 15 months. Upon arriving in New Zealand, the larvae undergo a transformation metamorphosis into glass eels, which look small and transparent compared to adults. These occupy estuaries for the first year of their life, during which they develop coloration and become elvers, which more closely resemble their adult forms. Elvers migrate upstream, where they then develop into adults. New Zealand longfinned eels have the slowest growth rate of any eel species known at just 1 to 2 centimeters a year, and they regularly live upwards of 100 years in age. Next up is the Takahe, also known as the South Island Takahe, or the Notorus, Notornis. It is a flightless bird indigenous to New Zealand and was hunted exclusively, extensively by the Maori, but was not tamed and was described by Europeans until 1847, and then only from fossil bones. In 1850, a living bird was captured, and three more were collected in the 19th century. After the final bird was captured in, in 1898, the species was presumed to be extinct. However, Take were dramatically rediscovered in 1948 by Jeffrey Orbell in an isolated valley of the South Island's Murchison Mountains. Measuring at around 25 inches in length, 20 inches in height, and weighing around 9 pounds in weight, it is the largest extant member of the rail family. Uh, adult Take plumage is a silky iridescent and mostly dark blue or navy blue on the head, neck, and underside. Uh, they are peacock blue on the wings. The black inner wings are teal and green, becoming an olive green on the tail, which is white underneath. Both the beak and legs are bright scarlet, scarlet in color. They are a noisy species, possessing a non-directional warning warmth call and a loud clop call. 
Uh, although once widespread throughout New Zealand's swamps and wetlands, Takahiri are now only found in alpine grassland and scrubland on the mainland, as well as some offshore forested islands. Here they feed primarily upon leaves, grass, shoots, worms, insects, occasionally lizards, and rarely the chicks of other bird species. The Takahiri is a monogamous, is a monogamous species with pairs remaining together for from around 12 years to their entire lives. Depending, uh, breeding occurs depending on the season, depending on the climate. Breeding occurs from September to January, uh, as well as it's variable by altitude. And during this time, the pair builds a bulky nest under brushes and scrub, where the female then lays one to three buff eggs. Incubation takes 30 days, and the chicks hatch in two days apart. Chicks stay in the nest for about a week and then remain with their parent for about one to two years. Under ideal conditions, the top may live upwards of 20 years. Next up is the New Zealand Lesser Short-Tailed Bat, also known as the Lesser Short-Tailed Bat, and the Pika Pika Tupoto in Maori. It is the only living species of bat in the family Mystixinaidae, and is endemic to the islands of New Zealand, where they inhabit forests, from sea level up to the tree line at about 3,600 feet. They are relatively small bats, reach around 2.4 or 2.8 inches long with an 11 to 12 inch wingspan. Short-tailed bats are nocturnal, spending the day roosting in hollow tree colonies of up to 100 individuals. Um, although they generally use natural cavities, they're also known to chew out several meter long burrows through the wood using their sharp incisor teeth. The bats emerge from the roost around 20 to 150 minutes after sunset and forage for much of the night, feeding upon crustaceans, arachnids, various insects, as well as flowers, fruit, nectar, and pollen. With these bats being an important pollinator for many plants on the forest floor, particularly the wood rose, short-tailed bats spend only around 30% of their foraging time catching insects in the air and 40% feeding from plants. The remaining 30% is spent hunting on the forest floor, a higher proportion than that of any other species of bat. To assist with this unusual style of hunting, short-tailed bats sport a flexible wings that are able to fold uh, inside of a protective sheath formed from their membranes. Movement along the ground is also assisted by strong high limbs, a robust pelvic girdle, and by the additional talons on their claws. Short-tailed bats are leak breeders with males occupying individual mating roosts during the breeding season, which occurs from February to May, uh, here they use the repetitive ultrasonic calls to attract mates. After mating, the embryo enters a state of delayed implantation throughout the winter, so that a single young is born in the summer. The young are fully furred and able to fly by four weeks, typically leave their parents around six weeks, and are fully grown by three months of age, living upwards of nine years. And our extinct animal of the week, as we've already covered the haste eagle and the moa, is another interesting animal. I picked the Delcourt's giant gecko, also known as Delcourt's sticky toed gecko, or the Kawea Kawea'i Kawea Kawea'u in Maori. It is an extinct species of reptile steeped in mystery, with, which is only known from evidence for its presence comes from several legends in Maori folklore and a few scientific reports of large forest lizards from the late 1800s. Additionally, a single taxidermied specimen is known. The Kawea Kawea is the largest gecko species known to have ever lived, reaching at least two feet in length when mature and being as thick as a man's wrist, uh, about the size of your arm actually. It was described as having a brown base color marked with beautiful red longitudinal stripes. This solitary and semi-boreal species inhabited the deep forests of New Zealand, in particular the Kauri dom dominated forests of the north of Auckland, uh, and the mixed broadleaf podocarp forests of the Bay of Plenty. Like its closest extant relative, Duvasilo's gecko, the Kawea Kawea, is a large nocturnal animal which spends its days inside tree crevices or under falling logs, emerging at night to feed upon nectar and to hunt large-bodied prey such as the giant weta, giant centipedes, other arthropods, lizards, amphibians, and potentially small birds. Like with many other New Zealand species, it is thought the Kauea Kauea uh, was driven to extinction in large part due to the introduction of species such as rats, and pigs, which ate its eggs, as well as dogs and cats, which outright hunted them. 
The last known sighting of the Kauai Kauai was in 1872. This has been our New Zealand special. As always, take care to my guys, gals, and my binary pals.